Hi all! In this video I'll show you how to configure one VLAN per port of the Microtex switch. In first example we have a PC connected to port 3 of Microtech RB2011LS and that needs to be access port meaning only one VLAN is allowed. Port 2 of the switch this green line is connected to the Microtech, uh, uh, sorry, to the network. That port is a trunk port because all VLANs must go through that port. Just to mention that this model has SFP port and more likely that will be your trunk port, but this is just an example. A VLAN that is used for management of the Microtech, in this case VLAN 100. I will propagate from port 2 to port 3 and PC will be able to communicate with the gateway. Let's start. First I set IP address of PC into same subnet as management and let's pin gateway. Of course it doesn't work since it isn't configured yet. Ok, see this is gateway IP address. So like, let's connect to the Microtech. Uh, over MAC address and let me just ad adjust slightly those windows. Ok, Ok, here we go. First I will create bridge and I will call it management. Management bridge. Ok, in that bridge I will add uh, so, uh, sorry, first I need to create VLAN for management. So I'm going to create VLAN 100. Remember 100 is management VLAN. With interface 100 with interface of the uplink. That's ether 2. Now I will add Ethernet 3 port into management bridge and I will add management VLAN into the same bridge. Also I should define IP address for access to the Microtech uh, from the network. IP address is dot 41 if you remember picture only interface of that IP address is management VLAN. Ok, now add default root with gateway of the interface on the router. Ok, now, now our switch is ready and we can reach it from the network. I should do that first as I said, but let's let's start ping. Let's ping gateway. Okay. And let's ping from gateway from the PC now it's working. So now our port is now access port and it's bridged to trunk port. We can also see that in the interfaces. You can see management VLAN added into Ether2 port. But you don't need to bridge only management VLAN. I will show example with some other VLAN. And for that I will connect PC into port 5. 
management VLAN will remain on port 2 because I need to reach Microtik from the network and I will add only one more VLAN for for example IPTV that I will bridge from port 2 to port 5 remember port 2 is trunk port it must propagate all VLANs of course since I don't have VLAN for management on port 5 my IP address is no longer in use ok this is current setting from first part of the video and I need to configure new VLAN I name it uh, IPTV VLAN I put some VLAN ID and interface again Ethernet 2 ok let me just fix those caps locks I want also to look nice not only being useful let's create now new bridge and I'll name it um, I don't know IPTV bridge ok in that bridge I will add Ethernet 5 port and if you remember from earlier I need to add IPTV VLAN Ethernet 5 is still disabled because PC is still not connected into uh, is still connected into port 3 but let's check interface tab two bridges all VLANs bounded into Ethernet 2 port now I will disconnect PC from port 3 and connect it into port 5 I need to connect again since I need new MAC address connecting ok check bridge ports again and you will see the port 3 is now disabled since that port is down and port 5 is up now only we need to test this connection because everything is ready this is IPTV running only my desktop camera don't show black screen but TV is running I will put, put window aside and now try to ping gateway just to show you it doesn't work since we are not in management VLAN anymore or even better I will record this with my smartphone so you can also see TV is running and you can also see ping is not working yeah let's go back to the PC so even if I cannot show you picture I can show you statistics so I'll just press Control A ok so you can see that packets uh, statistics so you can see the packets are transmitted and TV is running you can also see some lost packets and those lost packets are not caused by Macrotix or configuration don't pay attention to it and this is the end of video now if you want to add new VLAN just follow those steps define VLAN create bridge and add that VLAN into a bridge with desired Ethernet port see you in next video